Hey, thanks for joining us. Let's talk fair leads. We're gonna go over how we make them, why we make them the way that we do. We are gonna go over some features and benefits that make ours unique. And we're also gonna see a cross section of the fair lead to show you exactly why the Agency 6 lineup works as well as it does. Let's start with our quarter 20 mounting holes that you can clearly see. We've had a couple of questions about these. And these quarter 20s were put here uh, because of a specific situation that we faced a couple winters ago. One of the most notable features of our fair leads are these quarter 20s that we've machined into the tops of them. And the purpose for those is so that you can run different accessories on top versus spacing your fair lead from your bumper, like a license plate mount, light mounts, or camera mounts. We'll go over that right now. Installing items on our fair lead is actually pretty simple. You simply remove the quarter 20. It comes with a nylon washer to keep water from entering the threads and freezing in case you're in cold climate. If you're gonna install a camera mount, this one just so happens to be a ram mount, uh, which a lot of you obviously use. It's that simple. It's Wi-Fi. Someone from the rear can actually see what you're seeing in front. So from camera mounts to light accessories, or license plate brackets, which I have one over here that's already set up. If you live in a state that requires you to run a front license plate, you don't wanna keep removing all your parts. This allows you to swing your license plate down and still have total access. Uh, we've measured this with a, a, a variety of different hooks and it fits absolutely perfectly. Now let's put this away. We also include stainless steel hardware on all of our automotive fair leads. Aside from the stainless hardware, let's take a look at the cross section of our mounting surface and the pocket that we've machined into our fair lead. Both on the one inch and the inch and a half, we have a half inch mounting surface, which as some of you know, that's as thick as some fair leads out in the market. Moving from this cross section, let's look at the cross section towards the back side, bumper side, and the radiuses, including the flat that we have machined into our fair lead. One of the features of our fair lead is the large radiuses and the distance from one radius to the other. The purpose for this, and I have a little sample, the large radiuses and the flat help to reduce the friction on your synthetic line and it helps to extend its serviceable life. This is a cross section of a competitor fair lead from a UTV. As you can see, it's really narrow, and that creates a lot of heat and friction on your synthetic line. What we've done is increase the radius, added a flat, that helps to reduce the friction and extend the life of your synthetic line. One of the most important features is that it looks amazing. I mean, it's awesome looking. Well, let's go outside and show you how easy it is to install. If vehicle is equipped with an inferior fair lead, remove the said item from bumper, check for burrs or damage, repair it, and wipe it clean. If your line has a hook, remove the cotter pin from the hook, remove the hook from the line, and pass your line through the new A6 fair lead. Make sure to apply anti-seize or oil to the provided stainless hardware to prevent the stainless from binding. Use a 5-8 socket and ratchet along with an 11 16 box wrench to tighten the provided stainless steel hardware. Torque that hardware to 27 foot-pounds when lubed, 31 foot-pounds dry. From the install to the features and benefits, this is our fair lead. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, follow us on the rest of our videos. Have a great day.